This type of technology is what we would call a back of the house technology. It's something that the customers are not going to see, not going to be aware of, but it's going to contribute to the efficiency of the MTA and decrease our operating costs. Hi, my name is Pete Bass and I work for the MTA. I'm the Director of Environmental and Energy Policy. And what we're looking at here today is a demonstration panel of a solar thermal hot water heater. And we just installed a whole array on the roof of the Coney Island maintenance shop. Coney Island Yard is our largest train yard and overhaul barn. And it's where we do repairs and major overhauls for our subway fleet. We're gonna use this system to heat a 2,500 gallon tank of water that's used by the employees and also used in our operations. This system is replacing an electric hot water heater that was enormously expensive and very inefficient from both a dollar perspective and an energy perspective. The system costs about $500,000, saves nearly $100,000 in electricity each year, and will pay back in a little over five years. And after it pays for itself, the savings accrue directly to the MTA. We didn't even have to finance this with any of our own money because we worked with our partners at the New York Power Authority. They financed this under their energy services program and put up all the money. We pay them back through a surcharge to the electrical bill that's equivalent to the amount of energy we're going to save. And after that, the surcharge drops off and the savings are entirely ours. The secondary benefit is it's completely non-polluting. It doesn't burn anything, it creates no pollution or carbon, so it can be considered a very sustainable green kind of technology. And because it has only water, there's no hazardous elements whatsoever. No glycols, no chemicals whatsoever. It's really a terrific system, and it's a perfect example of the kind of energy efficiency projects that we do with NIPA all the time.